Hey guys, uh, it's Taylor here from Midnight Paloma. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, our new skin tool, the, the Rose Quartz Roller, um, and just some different ways that you can use it. Um, we usually recommend using it after you use your serum, but I really love it in the morning um, before makeup. So I'm going to show you using our three kind of facial products. So we've got your dry brush, we've got your face serum, and then the new Rose Quartz Roller. Um, so for some people this seems like a lot uh, to do every morning. You don't have to do it every morning That's one thing I always like to tell people um, It's something you can do every other morning if you have some more time um, And think about it more of, of like a ritual that you would do in the morning um, Every other day, so I love starting every morning off with my dry face face brush um, it's just like a really great way to wake in your face. I have like really puffy eyes in the morning, as you can see. Um, I just woke up, I splashed a little bit of water on my face, and then now I'm going to use the dry brush. Um, so yeah, when you're using the dry brush, you really want to push on the skin. So my skin is going to go red because I have really, really sensitive uh, redness prone skin. Um, and it doesn't really matter which way you use it, you just want to make sure you're really awakening the face, getting the blood flow moving, and that's what you can see here, like I'm getting a little rosy, that just means that the circulation's going, you're going to exfoliate any dry skin, I love it under, underneath, or um, over top, sorry, of my eyes, so it just kind of wakens them up, deep puffs, we have like a step-by-step -step guide that comes with this brush as well. Um, and it's crazy because when you start using it, you can actually feel the lymphatic drainage. So what is lymphatic drainage? It is congestion that gets stuck here. So it actually causes a lot of pigmentation issues. So if you do have really um, dark pigment in under eyes, this is like a really great tool for that. Um, and it's also a really great tool if you suffer from um, severely puffy eyes, which my eyes always are no matter what, uh, especially this allergy season, like it's been brutal. Um, so yeah, I love to really just go over the skin. So yeah, you can do this as long as you want. I mean, if you have more time, I usually do it while my coffee is <laughs> brewing. Um, so now we've done that. Oh, let's do the neck too. Um, and now we'll go in with our face serum. So the serum is uh, almond oil, sweet carrot seeds, and I just do like little circles all over. Um, we formulated this so it's super lightweight. It's great underneath makeup. If you are a little bit um, oily or prone on the nose, which I am, I just don't apply it on the nose, but you're, you can if you want. So I always do my neck. Um, and yeah, so normally you would just use your fingers and kind of rub around, but if you do have our new Rose Quartz Roller, um, this is a really great tool to uh, apply your serum, penetrate it deeper into the skin, um, and it just feels great. Honestly, it's, that's one of the best things about it I love, is it just, it feels so nice. It's a really great ritual to do before you have your makeup ready to go on. And in the summertime, this is so nice, you guys. I put it in the fridge and it's so cool. It's really, really good for puffiness. It's great also for facial tension. Um, if you have like any tension in your jawline area, just going over that and rubbing it out. Think about it as like a foam roller for your face. That's like a really nice way to explain it. So once you've kind of pushed in the product, like you can see the shine on the face. What I love about our serum is it's really lightweight, so it is an oil technically, but it's a really lightweight oil. So it has a similar consistency um, of the oil that's like naturally produced by your skin. And then this little guy is great for the eye area, so you can just kind of go over. That feels really good. I love using products and tools as a base for your makeup. And it makes a huge difference if you put in the time to use those skincare items and skincare tools. I don't know if you can notice, I can because I obviously see my face every day, but my skin just feels hydrated, a little bit plumper. And I find that I use less makeup, which is something I'm trying to embrace a little bit more. So skincare is like the most important, important makeup, I think, for sure. So yeah. That's it. I mean, we took about five minutes to do this, but I've been talking a lot, so you don't need to take five minutes. Um, but yeah, these three together, money. Love it. Thanks, guys.